For this game, you're going to need an egg, you're going to need a spoon, and we suggest a metal spoon so that it'll be sturdy enough to hold your egg. You will need either a tape measure or a yardstick, and you will need something to mark the place where you're measuring. This can be a water bottle, it can be a cone, it can be a lamp, something that you can walk to and around. So get your tape measure ready. You're going to set it for 15 feet. See that? 15 feet. Once you get your mark, you need to set something there so you have a marker. So this is my water bottle, that's what I used. You are going to get your spoon, your egg ready, and your timer. So you are going to set the timer and you're going to time yourself from where you start. You're going to walk with your egg on your spoon to your marker, your water bottle, your cone, around it and back to your starting point. How fast can you walk the 15 feet and back without dropping the egg? So post your time, post a picture, a video, send that in on the parent Facebook page. Good luck guys, you got this. Oh my goodness, did any of you break the egg during the relay? Oh, I hope it wasn't too messy for you. Now sometimes with games like this one, we gotta be a little extra careful and really make sure our concentration is on point. I really hope none of you broke the egg. It might have taken you a bit longer to get to your destination, but at least you're able to protect the egg, hopefully. You know, there's someone else in the Bible who had to have really good concentration too. That was Peter. Do you guys remember the story of Peter walking on water? Oh my goodness, now that is a fascinating story. See, that one's found in the book of Matthew, chapter 14. It starts at verse 22 and goes to verse 33. Now, the disciples were in this boat out on the sea, and there's this big storm, and they're freaking out, right? Well, they see Jesus coming toward them as he's walking on the water. And their storm is still going, the disciples see him, and they're like, is that Jesus? Is an angel? Is it a ghost? What's happening? And Peter says, you know what, I'm pretty sure that's Jesus. But, you know what, Jesus, if it is you, Call to me and ask me to come walk on the water. So Jesus says, yep, it's me. Come out and walk on the water. And he does. He gets out of the boat. He keeps his eyes focused on Jesus. And he begins to walk on the waves. But you know, something happens. He starts to remember that there's a storm happening. It's hard to miss, you know, the thunder, the lightning, the big crashing waves. He got distracted by all that. And when he took his eyes off Jesus and started noticing the storm, he began to sink and he was no longer able to walk on the water. But Jesus was able to pull him back out, put him on the ship, and just said, Hey, dude, grab into your faith. Just keep your eyes on me. Focus on me. Concentrate on me. I will get you through this. Yeah, there's a storm, but I'm in the middle of the storm. I'm with you. And guys, Jesus is right there with us. Even if there's a storm happening, even if there are a lot of distractions in life, we need to just tune all that out, keep our eyes focused on Him. He is the way, He is the light, He's got the answers, and He'll bring us through that storm. Keep your concentration on Him. Don't forget to check out some extra devotion questions we have on our Facebook page.